In this video, we're taking a look at the Asus ProArt PA32DC. A 31 and a half inch display that is color accurate. And the thing about the OLED is that it gives you darker darks and brighter brights. It gives you sharper contrast and better color tone. So let's go ahead, unbox it, see what's in the box. And then I'll show you guys some of the results of the screen once I get it tested, but that's all gonna be in this one video. That really hurt. Just got hit in the face with a really large battery. I cut my nose. Ow. I'm bleeding. Ah. <laughs> There's the culprit. All right, so it cut me pretty good, but uh, so I'm just gonna dab this as we're going through. So if you see blood going down my nose, just, it'll be okay. I have my hair light here, and that's what I caught the box on, and it knocked, flipped it around, and uh, the battery flew out, it knocked me in the face. So just, you know, if I'm just dabbing my bloody nose, don't worry about it. All right, so this is the hood, and it looks like some of the cables we'll have in here. So this will help if you're in, you know, kind of a somewhat bright environment, whether you have like overhead lights, you can put the hood around the monitor and block out that light so you can have really good bright brights and dark darks. Of course, we have all of our cables here. I honestly don't know if I'll use this hood. I may, I may not. And then of course, what's really cool is they always include the color calibration testing report. I think that's really neat. Now, another thing that's really cool about this laptop is it comes pre-calibrated, but it also has a calibration tool built right into it. I think that is insanely cool. So I'll show you in a second once I get the screen out. It uh, It's right on top and it just flicks down and then you can calibrate the monitor, which is really cool. Okay, so we have power cable, cable management, some screws. I'm pretty sure that might be to mount um, the, that's kind of gross, sorry. <laughs> some screws um, to mount either the hood or some of the cable management. Uh, we have a display port, USB type C, USB type A to type C, HDMI, and uh, if you're from another country, I think this is European, you have that. What is this? Oh my, oh my. Another box full of something. Okay, this is our stand and more screws, that's fun. So we have our stand here. So these are super easy to put together, super nice. Off, this off. And this is a super heavy duty stand. I love that. It's like so strong. Um, so this pops on here. And then just like that, that locks into there. And then all you got is this little thing. It's a, it's a screw it in with your hand. Bam, and you're done. So that's why I love these. I, it's you know, it's so funny because like they make these so easy to assemble and it's not like you're like taking them apart and putting them together all the time But it's so nice that they're easy to assemble because then you're just it makes it so easy to set them up So there's that am I still bleeding? Nope, it's kind of slowed down a little bit All right now for the monitor. It's really nice. Man, this is bigger than I expected Love this All right Right. So there's two types of stands that actually come on this monitor. You can literally just spin these feet out if you want, like this. So let's, you can just turn the feet. Yep. So you can do that if you just want to have like a really nice low profile stand. So as you can see, I just spun those feet, and then there you go. It sits like that. Or you can go ahead and you can mount it on your large stand, and it can you know move up and down. You can actually pivot to where it's, where is it? it's easier when you have all the way to the monitor. On it. There we go. So you can pivot it to where it's 90, you know, vertical or horizontal, which is super nice. And actually the screws are what you use to mount the monitor to the back side of the screen. So it doesn't have like that. I guess it's called like a verse amount or best amount. Um, it doesn't have that. It just has these. You pop those out and you screw it right to the back of the monitor. Now, this is what I was talking about earlier with the auto calibration. So you just flip this up and then it just go ahead and you can calibrate your monitor, 
which is really cool. So that can be calibrated very quickly. And um, then of course it also supports a lot of the main color calibration like Data Color Spider X, which I use uh, and, and a few of the other more popular ones. That pops back and we're done. So we can always make sure this thing's nice and color calibrated. Let's go ahead and get it fired up. I'll fast forward till after my testing and then I'll let you know more about this thing. It is an absolutely gorgeous display. I mean, it comes in at 3840 by 2160 resolution, 4K monitor. It has a 559 nits at full brightness. It has 100% sRGB, 97% Adobe RGB, and 99% DCI-P3, all at a delta E of 0.73. And it has a 10-bit color depth. So, I mean, this thing is the ultimate color grading monitor. This thing is so sharp, the colors are so rich, and the blacks are so deep. It just, it's a great picture to look at. Now for connectivity, you have four USB type A's, one USB type C, three HDMI ports, one display port, and actually you have a headphone jack on this display. And the response time is fantastic. Everything is so smooth when you're watching video playback. It really is such a nice display. So if you're looking for a 32 inch 4K color accurate display for your color grading, you found a fantastic pick. And with the color calibration built right in, I mean, you're gonna make sure that you're always editing and color grading at the right color tones. So let me know your thoughts. I'm curious if you're considering this monitor. Links in the description if you're curious about the live pricing or availability of this monitor. Likes that this video has brought you some value and subs if you don't wanna miss out on the future uploads. I'll see you here in the next one.